What's up? I'm Spike Mendelson, and I am here in Hollywood at The Parlor. Uh, we got my boy Marcel that's joining us. Jen Hoffman is inside. How you doing? Thank you for coming. Wow. Hi, my name is Jen. I'm a writer, and I work in digital media. She hit me up on Twitter. You know how she loves that Twitter. Every year, I host the annual Orphan Thanksgiving at my home. Basically what that is, is like for all the random people in LA that don't have family here. I mean, I've even had people from Twitter. I've been like, hey, I'm not doing anything. Can I come by? And I'm like, hey. Sure, yes. So I hit Spike up on Twitter to ask him what I should do about the food. He is coming to LA, and I'm gonna take him out for a night on the town in exchange for his expertise for my turkey day truck. I hope she's got some food at the house. What is going on in here? We're gonna go hang out, give her some tips in the kitchen. What's going on life? Life? Work? Uh, you still with that guy? No! <laughs> Dick for ass. <laughs> I feel like instead of doing like the LA love the craziness, just keep it a little more chill, a little divey. I'm gonna show them what the rowdy LA does. So we're gonna head to the dime after this. Time to go. Head out to the next place. There's lots of little haunts that people kind of dip into to get away from the chaos of Hollywood and all the fame and everything. And my personal favorite is the dime. When you get to know the owners and when you get to know the other bartenders, sometimes you get to take over. So hopefully they'll let me go behind the bar tonight and kind of shake it up. So we made our own drinks. Oh, uh, this is gonna be bad. Wait, 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 what is that? Right. Pineapple and lime juice? See how you can shake. Shake it. I, I love how she managed to make a pink cocktail. I like your style. She's got like the nice like pink dyed hair, pink nails. She's got this. Oh! Video bombing. Tell your story, Spike. I love it. Tell your story. Tell them what happened tonight. That was actually surprising. I'm the best bartender in the world. You want to get a snack? Okay, obviously. We're drunk. Let's eat. Let's go eat. So we've hit a bar or two, but Thanksgiving is really more about home and family and kind of bringing people into your own home. So I feel like the next step is to get them back here so I can make them some of my famous Thanksgiving sangria while Spike and Marcel go to town on my kitchen. And this is my kitchen. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna make. So you make do with it, which you will. I hope she's got some food at the house. It'd be pretty embarrassing if she has nothing to work with. Whatever you guys want. I, I love don't... it. I mean, look at this range. Are you kidding me? I mean, you've got eight burners, six. Yeah, you can't count. From first impressions, I'm calling an empty refrigerator on this one. Let's talk about this for a second. Uh-oh. You know what? what is going on in here? Um, there would be a lot of things to make protein shakes with. So I have the most random stuff in my fridge right now. Um, I went to see a nutritionist and they told me I need to eat more protein. And I haven't eaten meat in really like forever. Yes, I have quail in my fridge. That is what we're working with. So how about I make you some liquor? How about I make you some yes. sangria? Oh, the rule is if you're going to cook in my kitchen, it has to be animal style. Has to be in costume. Has to be an animal style. You got a chipmunk and a panda. Oh, you got such a chipmunk. Oh, you're gonna be in a You're gonna take the panda? This is where shit gets weird. When my sister and I were doing the orphan Thanksgivings, we were trying to think what could we do that has nothing to do with Thanksgiving. We decided we would make Thanksgiving sangria. The world's smallest cuisine art. <laughs> you might want to take the peel off the apple before you slice it. Why don't you stick to your food instead of my drinks? Oh. Do we have any cranberries? Can you guys get back to your stations, please? I'm gonna make some chimichurri and go with kale. What else are you gonna put in the sangria? Apples, oranges, lemon, some whatever I find in my cabinets. Apples? Yeah. And what else? I don't know. Oranges. Pretty much, we fried some quail. You know what we're gonna have with this fried quail? What are we gonna do? An arugula bacon salad underneath it. Here comes the quail, baby. There's actual quail being cooked in my house. Fire on the hole! All right, so I'm going to be breading, and Marcel's going to be frying. What were you just doing? Mixing yeah, with the the sangria knife. with the knife? I don't think this is a really a chopping blender. This is like a mortar and pestle, maybe? Yeah. I saw a mortar and pestle somewhere. Did you? No. Oh, sangria ready yet? Yay! Yes, guys. To fried quail. Sangria that took longer than frying 10 pieces of quail. Well, that's pretty delicious. That was worth the wait. All right, we need to get you on the breading station. You got sangria, now Now you yes. get to work. You got your quail already pre-marinated, like in the buttermilk, and sometimes you can do like half buttermilk, half brine, whatever you want to do. Add some garlic, add some herbs, like make it aromatic. After like the quail's like super dredged, you're just gonna like go ahead and like tap off any of the excess on the rim. You have to use a pink bowl. 
Every it time you do pink. this, it has, it has to be, to be like pink. If it's not pink, pink you will ruin the quail. And then you drop it like in the flour. You can do single or double breading, right? Like Does double right mean now, you put it then back in there and then double it back in? Precisely. Precisely. Okay. Saturate the flour after we already have that like base. And this is gonna make your like basically your crispy, like So that's crunchy, like super fried when you double right? Yeah, it's like this is like ridiculously like chicken fried. Alright, I mean a lot of people cook turkey for Thanksgiving, but I think uh, quail's like a little but bit more high quail. class, quail. a little bit more fancy. Quail is definitely a little bit gamier than chicken, but it also cooks a lot more quickly, so you have to make sure not to overcook your quail. Oh, those are done. Those are done, my friend. Toss it with a little honey and hot sauce. Love that. That looks delicious. Enjoy. Boom! And never eat potatoes and bacon. This is awesome. So I'm doing wilted prosciutto bacon salad. Throw the chicken on top of it. I saw some balsamic right there. Jimmy, with, with the vinaigrette? Like panzanella style somewhat. Do you have like a platter to serve it? Like one big dish? It's late night. Why not eat off of some magazines? Chicken around there, dude. You know how we do it. I mean, that looks pretty delicious to be honest with you. Oh man, um, it's like so hot and sweet. It's insane. It's like the double breading. Yeah. Mm. It's like everything a turkey wants to be, right? Wow. Let's taste the salad. It's incredible how the, the rosemary like comes through in that, right? Yeah. You need to find a, a cook in your life is what you need. Chef. I knew how to make the sangria. I had no idea how to make quail. Guys, I think this was a pretty successful night. I feel way more prepared to make orphan Thanksgiving now that I've had the help of some professionals. So Spike, you're gonna do something with that pumpkin pie or you're just gonna let it sit there? You can never know what kind of tricks Marcel has up his sleeve. I thought you were making like a pumpkin pie shake. I think the dinner was so delicious. I think we don't, we don't could skip dessert for right now. But Spike can yeah. never make dessert. dessert. So he threw a last minute challenge thinking I would not be able to step to the plate. I will never bow down to a milkshake challenge like that. All right. There you go. That's All right. Spike I know. All right. You know I always gotta throw a little bit of salt in this game. So there's no ice cream? No. Move out of my way. Split a banana in threes, y'all. Just stick your thumb. Suja, <laughs> I need those oranges over there. Almond milk, please. You got me checking the expiration date. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think this thing chops ice, dude. It didn't chop your herbs. Yeah, I got this magic. Oh, now you got the vortex. It's a little blend of the cook. And we have three straws up in this. It's a pretty good shake. That's an easy That's, one. Um, That's easily shake. recreated. Yeah, was that was pretty amazing, especially for a last minute challenge. That I could have like, that for breakfast. That was like a last minute like. Pumpkin <laughs> pie shake. You guys stop it. I'm tired, still a little tipsy. I got a full stomach, well fed. It's time to go get some sleep. The show should be called, We're Drunk Like See You Clean. <laughs> Peace out. Next time you're at a Mexican restaurant, order the Escamoles. In English, that's ant larva. Learn more on why would you eat that. Want to up the ante on classic fried chicken and mashed potatoes? Just add cheese curds. Smash an episode of Taste Explosions together with Epic Mealtime, and what do you get? An explosion of epic proportions. Join Top Chef Kevin Gillespie in sampling the wildest bacon-wrapped hot dogs with toppings like cream cheese, scallions, and everything bagel seeds. Beer made from bull balls and grown men's beards? Get a taste of our version of food news on Food Feeder. Watch Exotic Jess take on a live octopus in the appropriately named Why Would You Eat That? Live Octopus Challenge. Subscribe for free for more tasted treats.